Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Famasave. Now, Famasave is a cross-platform screen time slash parental control tool that allows parents to control screen time and monitor how long a child is using a particular application, track real-time location, and detect any inappropriate content on a child's device. And it works on any platform like Android, iPhone, Windows, Mac OS, Chrome OS, and even Kindle Fire. So it doesn't matter what platform you're using, Famasave will work for you to help you keep your child safe. So make sure you check out Famasave, of course, links as always will be in the description down below okay so I'm always a big fan of new software updates in order to improve the user experience Apple has released yet another update for the iPhone today releasing iOS 16.0.3 to address a few issues on the newer iPhones as well as older iPhones as well. I love to see this when Apple continue to improve the software week after week basically. We've seen so many updates in the last couple of weeks from beta to official releases. This one is official release, okay? So you don't have to wait. You can go ahead and download it right now if you have an iPhone that supports iOS 16. You can go into your settings of your iPhone and go ahead and update your iPhone. So you go to settings, general of course, and then you go to software updates and iOS iOS 16.0.3 will populate for you and you can take advantage of these bug fixes. Now, Apple also released watchOS 9.0.2 to address a few issues within the Apple Watch as well. So, of course, in this video, we're going to go ahead and talk about what's new with the latest watchOS and iOS software updates. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now I'm going to go ahead and set this iPhone aside. I want to talk about watchOS here briefly. The first thing I want to mention is that watchOS 9.0.2 is available to download as of right now. Again, no beta testing. It is available to download and it improves four things. It fixes four issues here. Number one, if you use Spotify to stream music in your AirPods, right? And the music stream was sort of interrupted and there was issues there. This new watchOS update aims to fix this issue. Now for those of you who use assistive touch on your Apple Watch, if you set a news alarm the notifications will continue even after the alarm was deleted if you were having that issue this watch OS update aims to fix this issue here as well now incomplete syncing of wallet and fitness data with the newly paired apple watch ultra and apple watch 8 was a thing on 16.0.2 apple aims to fix this issue as well so if you were looking at data on your apple watch for your fitness and it didn't quite align with the data on your iphone this new watch OS update aims to fix this issue here as well and last but not least this one i did have is is the audio from the microphones will be interrupted on the Apple Watch Series 8 and Apple Watch Ultra. So sometimes I'll be in a phone call and they say, hey, I'm breaking up or they couldn't hear me. This issue has been addressed. Now let's take a look here at the iPhone. Of course, Apple also released iOS 16.0.3, as I mentioned, and this one addresses four issues for your iPhone. And now it looks like the iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max have been plagued with camera issues over the past several weeks and Apple continues to release these updates in order to improve the user experience. Now let's take a look at the first information that we got here. So incoming calls, app and notifications may be delayed or not delivered on iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max. So incoming calls and app notifications sometimes will fail to be delivered. iOS 16.0.3 aims to fix this particular issue if you were having that issue. Now low microphone volume occurred during CarPlay calls on iPhone 14 models. So if you use your iPhone in the car and you use CarPlay and again they couldn't hear you, the microphone issue has been addressed with this one as well. Now, as I mentioned, there's been issues with the cameras ever since the iPhone 14 lineup launched. The third thing here is cameras may be slow to launch or switch between modes on iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max. So again, another issue being addressed here with the cameras of the iPhone 14 and 14 Pro lineup. And last but not least, this one uh, plagued pretty much everyone. So the mail app would crash at launch after receiving a mail formed email. So this pretty much sums it up. We have four fixes for the iPhones and we have four fixes for the Apple Watch but I really wanted to briefly get on here to share this information with you guys again you can update your iPhones and your Apple Watch as of today this is a quick software update to improve user experience I hope you guys enjoy the video have a great day guys and I'll see you on the next one peace